I didn't want to say goodbye to summer, you guys, but a little fall front porch makeover. Now I'm all in on fall. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow I need a pumpkin spice latte. Leave something to be desired, don't you think? Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Lindsay, an interior stylist and teacher. This is my series design diary where I share all the projects big and small that we're doing to make our house feel like our home. In today's little episode, we're gonna be doing a front porch makeover. I explained it already, so let's just roll those clips. Yes, we're doing like a little mini get ready with me. Oh, this is a little bit awkward. I actually never put on makeup while on camera before, and this is a very strange angle. I'll have to report back to school tomorrow, and I think my head is about to explode. If you are a K-12 educator, my heart goes out to you. Today, why don't we just drop everything and do a little front porch makeover, and I'm so excited for this one. Gotta start with a sunscreen. Honestly, since we moved in, when I did that empty house tour, I am already thinking about changing the color of the front door. Hello friends, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a little empty house tour of our brand new house. I really, really, really wanna paint it black. We really wanna reside the whole house, completely redo the exterior. That's a in the future type project. This is even better concealer. I went for a little bit lighter color. This one is CNO2, the color is called Breeze. Probably too light for me, but oh well. The porch is a little bit sad at the moment. This is really hard to do, you guys. <laughs> Let me just get the, the basics done here first. I do concealer first. Sometimes I only do concealer, honestly. We already changed the door hardware. Painting the door black is just gonna provide a bit more contrast where right now there isn't any because the house right now is painted a light gray, which not my favorite. You know I love a warm neutral. And there's a lot to be said, especially in the feng shui zone, if you're into that at all. I definitely am. A lot of feng shui talks about when you are arrive at your home and the lead up to the home, how you walk into the space, what greets you, you're, you know, making sure to use your front entrance. And so that's a big thing for me. I really want to completely transform the entry. And especially since I'm headed back to work, I think it will be really nice to be able to walk up to a beautiful front entrance. I'm doing stuff like all out of order because I'm all out of whack. All right, we're just going to put a little bit of foundation on, not too much. We got to get this show on the road after. After all. With two golden retrievers, it might be a little bit of a challenge, but I think I'm gonna pick up some like plastic wrap the tape around the door opening so that I can paint the door from the inside and let it stay open for the drying process because obviously don't want to mess it up. the paint color. I actually diverged a bit from my regular Benjamin Moore selections to Sherwin-Williams, and this is a color known as Tricorn Black. Pardon me while I help Travis with something slash Harbor takes over for a minute here. This is such a beautiful color. It's a beautiful neutral black. When you paint it on, it actually looks a little navy at first, but dries a beautiful neutral shade. All right. I'm back. <laughs> I sprang for the top of the line Sherwin-Williams exterior paint known as Everlast. It has extreme all weather protection according to the label and the guy who helped me at Lowe's agreed this was a great choice for a front door. One thing you're gonna need to do is stir this paint thoroughly right after returning home from the hardware store. It was lumpy clumpy. It's the thickest paint I think I've ever used so it definitely needs a good stir and I also recommend pouring it into a disposable paint tray 
like I've done here. For the front door, I just used a small roller and an angled brush so that I could get into those little nooks and crannies. Eventually, I would love to source the perfect, beautiful, vintage, salvaged front door, but in the meantime, a more budget-friendly option to add a little bit more contrast to our home is to paint the front door. Our exterior of our home is a light gray, so this black is gonna look really cool. It's gonna pop off the front of our house. Just you wait until you see my fall wreath. That is really going to make this thing look amazing. I got some amazing new plans. Travis helped me to find some really cool ones on the sales section at Home Depot that we brought home. They've just been sitting outside, honestly. We ran away for my birthday to the Oregon coast and they've been sitting out there since before that trip. So they are desperately in need of getting planted. So we're gonna get those in the pots, pot the new pot. We're gonna put the new potted plants in pots. <laughs> You know me, potted plants are pretty much my favorite thing, whether I'm decorating indoors or out. So it was fun sourcing some fun, big, leafy, colorful things to brighten up our front porch. Instantly, just placing these here, getting ready to pot the plants, I knew they were bringing so much life to this little area of our home. I found some great big pots at Home Depot on a fairly decent price. I wouldn't say these were like top of the line quality, but they were affordable, neutral, and I thought that I might be able to repurpose them year after year as I update the front porch for different seasons. This pot is from the Studio McGee Threshold collaboration for Target. I stocked this one online for months on the website and finally found it. Must have been a return or something at my local store. I've been using it inside for quite some time, but it's going to be great for the porch. I'm just going to remove that little drain plug so that it gets adequate drainage. And I'm going to be planting this beautiful, colorful croton in it. It's got a lot of those fall warm colors that I'm looking to add to the front porch. We were also able to source some super cool big plants for these pots, some already assembled from Home Depot's selection in the clearance department, end of summer plant sales. So I'm not sure how long some of these plants will last, but just getting this front porch makeover off the ground with some plant color is making me so happy already. tall, deep planters, but definitely didn't want to waste that much soil. So the best solution and a great way to just be a little bit more environmentally friendly is to use styrofoam blocks to block up the bottom so that you don't have to fill the entire thing with soil. It actually is a great way to use this without it destroying the environment, takes up space and just overall makes the project a lot easier. So I broke apart this giant chunk that I got from a light fixture delivery and used it on both of these large planters in the bottom. I cut small pieces to fill about half of the planter, giving plenty of space for soil around to secure those in and then put these potted plants right inside. And then this pink one, I just thought I would toss it in here. It's not necessarily the fall colors, but it's still very fun and colorful. So I'm gonna be finding a spot for this somewhere in the styling of this project. head out to Target. I've got a bunch of gift cards from my birthday and some old gift cards from a while ago that I don't even know what they're from. So I'm going to go ahead and probably spend all those today getting some sort of fall inspired decor. I'm going to look for a wreath for the front door. I think that's going to be a really great thing to add. It's going to be awesome. All right, I'm going to stop talking, get this makeup done so we can get freaking out the door. I'm in no shape to be giving any sort of a makeup tutorial. That's for sure. It makes me laugh when you guys ask me because I'm like any makeup artist would cringe seeing the process here. I'm sure this delicate contouring is really helping you. Who knows? I probably come off orange on camera, but I stopped caring. Just enhancing the cheekbone, enhancing the cheekbone. 
Glossier. I use the brown color in moderation. <laughs> you can go overboard easily. Ooh, much better. All right. Ooh, highlighter. We live for highlighter. Morphe Contour Palette in color 8F Fair Play. Very liberal with my highlighter. I just use my fat brush on my nose, but who cares? I love this one. This is another Morphe brush. M510. I am definitely not a beauty blogger. Don't listen to me. You do you, buttercup. You do you. I get a lot of questions on this one. Kind of dirty, sorry. Very well loved. This one is ColourPop Nude Palette. I look for eyeshadow palettes in warm neutral, white, and then a couple of like really metallic-y ones. Those are usually the ones that go for First, honestly, a little bit of that sparkle miss because I love a sparkle. And then I use this like slightly darker shade in the crease and not precision by any means. Just trying my best to do some blending. And after this, you're gonna wanna hit up some of the really actually like amazing beauty channels to get better advice. Did I layer in enough sparkle? Probably not. Then I get this little like bit of this white shade and then I just put a little bit in the corner and a little bit under the brow. And then I love this little brightening shade in here. Oh, it's good. A little bit more color. I'm obsessed with Glossier products, skincare and makeup, but this one is Boy Brow, also in brown. Very light touch with this. You could very much easily go overboard. I usually just try to take a little bit of product off. And then I always start in the middle of the brow. If you start at the front, you put way too much product and it just goes everywhere. It's not about adding too much, it's just keeping brows in place so they don't shift. And Voila. Lastly, bring these eyes to life. Can you tell why I call this series Design Diary? Because <laughs> it's a little bit more uh, vlog-esque, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully you guys care about this stuff. Get in the car, get some paint, get some more decor items. We've collected a few great items that are off camera at the moment. So I'm excited to grab a few more things to kind of round this out and then hightail it back here so we can try to get this thing done in one day. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm so excited to hit the shops and find some fall decor. I head immediately to Home Goods. I had a gift card and wanted to check out the fall offerings. There's so much great outdoor furniture left over from summer and a lot of early Halloween decor, but this leans a little too kitschy for my taste. I'm going straight for some non-word art fall inspired and I'm gonna hold off on Halloween till October. I looked right around for wreaths and hit the jackpot. They had a huge delivery of natural dried florals, so beautiful. There was some also great dining table accessories, faux pumpkins, but again, I'm gonna hold off on that for a minute. Great deal though. Looking at all the wreath options, I was looking for something that would contrast against the new black paint on the front door, and I'm also looking for some lanterns to add a little ambiance. Of course, I can't go to Home Goods without sneaking a peek at the area rugs. I actually found the rug that's in our living room, plus this beauty that I was considering snagging for our family room. I love the low pile, beautiful print, and you know, I love a good denim blue. Here's my final choices. A veranda book is gorgeous, a simple wreath, and some LED candles. And as soon as I walk through the door, greeted by my best Not friend, so make sure to say hi to Kelly green in the comments. All right. So my dogs do a weird thing that I'm wondering if yours do. They watch this. They hate the blue ball. Look, they won't even run for it. It's like, eh, Kelly is bringing me the orange one. Like, please no play with this ball. Ever since we bought orange ones, they are just obsessed with these. It's hilarious. Look, she'll even sit perfectly. Give me a shake and we're ready to play again anything for the toss of the orange ball. Watch this. She practically mows down Harbor to get to it and brings it right back. She is so excited. Do your dogs have preferences on toys? Let me know down in the comments. I think it's so weird that they've just now decided the blue balls are crap and they will only play with the orange balls.
All right, I've been hard at work on this project, had to take a little bit of a break. I don't even remember what day we're on now, three maybe? Back to school is upon me. I'm in the midst of putting the classroom together. Several of you have asked for a video on classroom setup, so that might be next week's video if I can get it together, we'll see. Forcing myself to get away from school stuff so that I can finish up this makeover. The Sherwin-Williams paint that I picked has worked out really, really well. It did take quite a long time to dry. We might need to do a little bit of touching up here and there, but overall it looks fantastic. Beautiful black and just gives the whole house that contrast that it was lacking before. Well, it's time for the finishing touches. I got a few more plants, some super cool stuff while out looking for porch fall vibe decor at home goods. I'm loving how this long planner turned out. I honestly am about to go buy a second one to just fill up the space a bit more, but I thought it might be fun in the meantime, just load in a couple more already potted plants that I had to just fill out the space and just add a little bit more color. This big purple flowery bush that needs a good watering. Got this jade plant, honestly. One of the first plants I ever bought, still kicking it. I found this wreath at Home Goods. I think you guys saw me get that. It's just $40. I just like this one because it was neutral and then had some black and some warm tones and I knew it would contrast against the black door. The one thing about it is it sheds a little bit, but I'm hoping it'll quit soon enough. Oh, it looks so good. It's fall after all, so I thought I'd kind of lean this little makeover a little fall inspired, obviously, the wreath. I also want to incorporate this lovely lantern. I think this one came from Pottery Barn, handed over to me by my mom when she was cleaning out her old house. And it's got a super cute little door, so I got a flameless candle at Home Goods to go in it. Orange, of course. I wanted to add maybe just one more. I'm not the kind of gal who's gonna do like 50 of these lanterns, but you know, just one big, one small, I think it would work. So I found this big guy, which I think I showed you guys. Found this one at Home Goods, just $30. And so I got some more of these flickering flameless LED candles to figure out what they need for batteries. I love it when you can push the button and they light up in the box. It's so fun. And they're kind of textured and I love them. They look kind of already kind of melted, which is kind of more fall-ish, right? Oh, they already have batteries. Oh, yay. Okay. Oh, it's cute, you guys. Look. Single box big one was $16.99 and the double box medium was $24.99. I think we're ready to stack a couple candles in. So I was thinking like, I think that one fills it out better. And then this one will fit better in the smaller one. You can actually see it now. Oh gosh, it's so cute. Styling is ready. I think we're ready. It's time for the big before and after. So here it is. Let's go to the reveal footage in three, two, what? That does it for another before and after here in our new home. I am so happy with how this one turned out. We have a ton of big plans and huge changes we wanna to do to the exterior of our home in the future. But for now, this created just a welcoming, fun, 
fall vibe for when we arrive home. And of course, when we're lucky enough to entertain some guests. Let me know if you have any questions on this or any other makeovers and let me know down in the comments what you're looking forward to hearing about in future episodes of Design Diary. Like and subscribe for more interior design and home decor tips. Next week, I'm sharing another Architectural Digest home review. I haven't chosen which one yet, so if you want to let me know your requests down in the comments. Until then, you might enjoy my entryway makeover. I have like a non-entry, but found a way to make it awesome. I'll also link my video on the initial furniture placement upon moving into this home so that you can see some progress as I have been moving things around. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, my friends.